Today we're going to show the easy process for upgrading a unicast system to multicast. I'm also going to demonstrate this by setting up four receivers that we're going to place around the house. Let's get started. Well, before we begin, there's a few items that you're going to need in order to do the multicasting. First, you need a unicast HE flow system that is hooked up, plugged in, and playing content to the TV. We're going to want to leave this on throughout the process. You want to have your other receivers lined up and ready to go, but not plugged in or hooked up to anything at this time. You're going to need your iTrio remote control because we're going to need to push the info button and get information throughout the process. Also, we recommend that you use a USB mini drive that has an indicator light and is a 6 meg drive. You're going to need a laptop computer or a desktop computer in order to do the upgrade. Once you have all these ready to go, we can begin. The first step in the multicasting process is to set your TV screen resolution to 720p. You can do this through its on-screen menu options. Also, your content delivery device, such as your DVD player, also needs to be set at 720p, and you can achieve this too from its menu options. Out of the box, every HD Flow Multimedia Kit is set up as a unicast system, which means it's one transmitter to one receiver. As part of our firmware upgrade, we have to take our base transmitter and make it so it can multicast to multiple receivers, and we have to take our base receiver and turn it into slave one. Make sure the base transmitter and the base receiver are plugged in, operational, and delivering content to the TV as mentioned earlier. Get the SSID number off your transmitter. It will be the four printed digits on the label. Now go to the HDFlow website at www.hdflow.com. Select tech support from across the top. Scroll down to the bottom of the page under firmware upgrades. Go to multicasting upgrade and select download and instructions. It's the button on the right. There are basic steps listed at the top. Scroll down to the box labeled set up the system configuration. There are four items to be inputted. Under the option of streaming mode, select multicast. Under the option of connection type, select Wi-Fi. Under the option of SSID trio, enter the four digit SSID number from the transmitter. Under the RX number, select Slave 1 for the base existing receiver. Insert the USB drive into your PC. Ensure the drive is empty before you do this. Select the button Download Software and save it to the USB drive. Repeat this for Download Config TX and Download Config RX. Wait for the light on the USB drive to stop flashing. Then remove the USB drive from your PC. Note, when working with Windows, you may need to use the Safely Remove Hardware option. Insert the USB drive into the base receiver while it's operating. Look at the TV screen to show you that the USB has been detected. This should happen in about 15 seconds. Also check your USB drive to make sure the light is blinking. If the screen does not show USB detected within the first 30 seconds, remove the USB drive, wait 5 seconds, then reinsert the USB drive. At this time, do not power off the system use the remote control or reset the system during the process. With the transmitter and Slave 1 receiver operating, aim your iTrio remote at the Slave 1 receiver and press the letter I. You'll see in the upper left hand corner of the TV screen that the firmware has been upgraded to 202.15. Also, the transmitter's IP address is now ending in .151 and Slave Receiver 1's IP address is ending in .152. Phase 1 is complete. Leave the base transmitter and Slave 1 receiver operating with content during Phase 2. We're about to set up Slave 2, which means it's back to the HD Flow website. Under the option of Streaming Mode, select Multicast. Under the option of Connection Type, select Wi-Fi. Under the option of SSID iTrio, enter the four-digit SSID from the transmitter label. Under RX number, select Slave 2 for the next receiver. Now, insert the USB drive into your PC. Ensure it is empty. Erase all previous downloads that you've put onto it. Select the button Download Software and save it to the USB drive. Repeat this for the Download Config TX and Download Config RX. Correctly remove the USB drive from the PC. Remember, if you're working in Windows, you may have to use the Safely Remove Hardware option. Insert the USB drive into a powered receiver too. After about one minute, 
the receiver 2 signal light will slowly flash. No video or audio will be present yet. Look for the USB light to change from constant to flashing. Then look for new firmware detected on the receiver 2 TV screen in the top left. After about 30 seconds, the Slave 2 will reboot. After about three minutes, the lights will stop flashing and the audio and video will appear on Slave 2. Remove the USB drive. The screen may pixelate right after removing the drive, but nothing to worry about. Aim the remote at Slave 2 and press the information button. The latest firmware should show, and it should also show that transmitter IP ending in 151 and Slave 2 IP now is 153. Update Slave 2 is completed. For Slave 3 and Slave 4 receivers, just repeat the same as Phase 2, only changing the following. In Step 1, enter Slave 3 for Receiver 3 and Slave 4 for Receiver 4. Note that this must be done in order. Also, your on-screen information will now indicate that your Slave 3 IP address will end in .154 and Slave 4's IP address will end in .155. Well, that's it. HD Flow will now instantly recognize and broadcast your AV content to all four receivers.